Hey guys, Jabby back. What's up, Summer? Yeah. What's a nice, quaint place? And the view! Well, it can't be beaten, can it? Yes, this will be perfect. I see a little promontory up on that cliff there. Just go ahead, I'll meet you there. How will I do it? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm sure I'll manage to snake my way up. Did you just... Oh, you just bunned us, Summer! Why? Lock it. Here, Summer, where are you? Are you still over here? You shouldn't. Oh, no, she's gone. Let's see. Black sheep, white sheep, one deep, two shoops. Shoot the whoop! here for some reason, Summer? Whatever. Worse. Oh, cool. I like cow. Oh, let it explode. Repeating this an extra time takes less time. Ooh, that was the slate that I thought the last one was. Yeah, this taking an extra swing or two takes less time than uh, letting the ever light explode in your hand. Oh, I did not know that. I did not know that at all. There's a little place here. That's what the little place. It's nice. Ha! I haven't lost my touch, have I? I might be old, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. And beating younglings in a climbing race has always been a specialty of mine. But enough of this. Let's focus on the matter at hand. This lesson, as you might have guessed, will be a little bit special. Up to now, we focused on the proper care of plants and crops. Well, now, I think it's time to concentrate on the proper care of one's mind. Sunlight and music were the tools for the former. Well, for the latter, our tool will be the act of meditating. And that's specifically why I brought you here. See this boulder? It has been consecrated for nothing. Powerful spiritual energies flow through this area. I know, I know, it might seem strange. A cult, even. But just humor me. First things. Oh, man. Get right on down to it, huh? Sit down next to me, just like this. Alright, now your turn. Meditation, Stella, is an affair of wholeness. Of wholeness and of oneness. A lot of novices believe, frankly, that meditating is the pursuit of an empty mind. But the mind is not empty, Stella. It is a beast savage and untamed. Violent and caring. Loving and destructive. Hateful, curious, scared. A ball of frayed nerves. Much like the dragon, it cannot be controlled. It must be allowed to roam free. It's nice. Oh, I just noticed that Daffodil is in the pose as well. My father also lived with this tormented creature. Of a different kind, perhaps. He chose to fight it. 
tried to muscle it down into submission. To mark it under the auspice of violence. And mostly to silence it. He thought that nothingness was the solution. But the dragon is indomitable. The fight left my father a broken man. Let your mind wander, Stella. Gently, like you would a scared kitten. Let it smell the grass. Let it notice the wind flowing through your hair. The heat radiating from the stone behind you. The rhythmic breaking of the waves below. Let your spirit penetrate all things, not just make them yours, but to make yourself theirs. He won. Behold, but keep being. Nice. The oneness and the wholeness. Nice. I like how that went. Mr. Sheepy, go to sleepy. There you are. Seems like my lesson had quite the influence. You were up there for hours. I just had to stretch my legs at some point. <coughs> oh, what are you saying? A vision? <coughs> of course! You're the spirit fairer, after all. The mystical energies of this world are bound to affect you in mysterious ways. <coughs> I'm sure there are other such areas of power. If you find them, be sure to take time to meditate. Perhaps more visions will rain down upon your mind. You know, Stella, while you were up there, I tried to do some thinking. I wanted to prepare your, for your next lesson. There's still so much to teach. But I couldn't think. My mind was uneasy. For you see, I too have had a vision. A gift from the universe. It's the dragon, Stella. I have felt him creeping slowly towards me. I thought I had some grand purpose to accomplish before he would swallow me whole. But now I realize that the dragon hasn't crept much at all. He has kept up from with me for some fight for quite some time now. For quite some while now. <laughs> and ignoring it won't do me any good. Well, let's go, shall we? Alright! Let's get to the house. You can go to bed. I can try making that thing if I can. I need more iron, apparently. Do I have iron? No. Drat. Do I do have corn? I do have corn. Plant more rice. Ooh, and lettuce is ready. Lettuce. More leeks. Lettuce. Leaks on this boat. Leaks on the boat. Anyway. Now that that's all settled, uh, we should sleep until morning. Yes, that, that is one thing we should do. Aha! It is day! Ish. Go ring that bell. We don't need to go there, we need to go to here. Cause we need to find Gwen! 
figure out what she's been up to at all. Oh. Oh no! Some are starving! Ah oh, yeah! Snakey hug! You remind me of how much I used to be. So much of how I used to be when I was younger. I'm not messing it up too bad. I used to wear a red ribbon in my hair, just like in the magazines. The boys always noticed me, you know. I could have had Tony, the barber's son. Mm -hmm. He was quite rich and had a red convertible. Or even Al, the ski champion. Oh, Al, he had the nicest one. Mm -hmm. But Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Ah, Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Whatever I did, whatever happened, he always made me smile. His eyes looked like shooting stars. His hair spread like morning dew. But enough of this. Daydreaming won't get us nowhere. Let's do something productive. We just missed an eclipse. Aren't your crops in need of water? Uh, no. They are in need of harvesting. Gentlemen, more ice! Art. Mm -hmm. I wonder where Quinn would be. Maybe she took a trip to clear her head. You should look for your friend, Stella. I should! You should mm -hmm. also take this hug. Mm -hmm. Get her hug! Mm -hmm. A hug brightens my day. You could also use some food. Mm -hmm. She just won't eat that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Won't eat that. She is picky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can suck it then. I'm gonna cook a whole bunch of carrots. See how you like that. Villa, going to do villa things. Hopefully, Gwen's here. I see a notice, so I'm guessing Gwen's here. Stella. Stella. Hi. I'm sorry. Sorry I even considered doing this. Ending your days in your family house is so cliché to boot. Mm -hmm. I can't explain myself either. I just wanted to finish it off, you know? Mm -hmm. To decide on my own terms how I'd go. And not let myself be taken away. I've been weak. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, the irony. <laughs> Crap. I feel so selfish now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wish I could have been like you, but rarely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, hug me now. Hugs! Mm -hmm. You could mm -hmm. use some food as well. Thank you so much. I needed that. You always pull me through. You! You ain't going anywhere without your mm -hmm. coffee. Quest I must be off. I don't like the sound of that. You! I 
I've lost my house because of you. Your friend wasn't using it. It should be mine. Ooh. I have rights, you know. Now that old shrew kicked me out. I'm back to being the gardener. Ooh. But the biggest rub is my house is locked. I'll break that padlock and get my dignity back someday. Ooh. Leave me alone for now. I have work to do. Ooh. Uh, that sounds like you problem. Come on, Gwen, let's get back to the boat. Gwen's got something for us. A fabulous garden. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, this will come as a shock. But I'm ready to leave. I just can't fight it anymore. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. I know you're with me. Bring me to the Everdoor, where you can meet Charon. I'm ready. Or where you met Charon. What? Wait, no! Win! Someone's thinking. More leaks. Leaks everywhere. Well. We all knew this wasn't going to be forever. So... I guess the best we can do is get ready for when Gwen, for Gwen having to leave. I'm not terribly happy about it. It's right here, let's try going there. And we got mail! Got more vegetables. Mm -hmm. no. Keep going, baby. Do all you need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And smelly. Some of us could use a bath, I think. But I'm not judging. You're the only one in there. We can't go past the ice yet. It seemed like a place we should be able to go. That's a big one! Ooh. Oh wow! There's no way your boat is getting through that! Maybe Albert has something in his arsenal! Ooh. Some dynamite or something! Icebreaker. You know what? That's a good uh, set waypoint. Set waypoint. And we will start going to uh, South Point Docks. Maybe we'll go to South Point Docks as well. But that sounds like a quest for next time. Uh, until then, I guess we'll have to get ready to say goodbye to Gwen. Until then, everyone, this is going to be Jabby signing out. Have a good one.